A welcomed bit of uplifting news tonight. Soldiers helping soldiers, and they're using music to help heal. We'll have that story for you next. This is CBC Late Night News. It's the season of giving, and a member of the Canadian Armed Forces has dreamt up a way to honour servicemen and women past and present. He's transformed stories of the past into songs that he hopes can pay it forward. Our Adrian Chung dropped in on a jam session. Piece by piece, track by track. They're putting this tribute song together, backed by bandmates who have served with the armed forces, land, sea, and air. My name is Jonathan Amador, and I play the bass. I'm Lawrence Barley, and I play guitar. My name is Mark Pownie, I'm the vocalist. Hi, I'm Chris Reeser, I'm playing drums and percussion. I'm William Wright, I'm the composer, and I play the accordion. Wright has been with the Armed Forces Reserves for over 20 years. It has inspired him to cut a record full of songs with military themes and memories. We're all family in the military. We're brothers and sisters. Over the years, he's learned tragic stories like that of Corporal James Ogilvie. They were overseeing the elections in Bosnia. They were coming home. It was dusk and uh, a car ended up running them off the road and uh, the cougar flipped four times. Uh, the driver, Corporal Ogilvie, was ejected from the vehicle. Going home to my family. One of the songs, Going Home, is dedicated to Ogilvie's memory. At this recording studio, some of the biggest artists in the world have made platinum and gold selling records, but what they're making in there is for a completely different reason. The proceeds of the album to be released in January will go towards helping servicemen and women, its funds being donated to Wounded Warriors Canada and the Toronto Military Family Resource Centre. Music is a way of healing and this song, it's my hope and intention that it really helps and assists the soldier to heal from their psychological and uh, mental wounds and distresses. Turning songs of past military lives into tangible help for those serving today. Adrian Chung, CBC News, Toronto. A great initiative.